virus and the local response. Hannah. Yeah, so the three new deaths just announced today are all from King County. One of the three patients died here last week at Harborview Medical Center, and that patient was from Life Care, the nursing facility in Kirkland that has become the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak here in western Washington. Outside Harborview Medical Center, we saw people wearing masks as COVID-19 continues to spread in Washington. Meanwhile, more coronavirus cases are popping up across the U.S. And CDC experts cannot say with any certainty of what the overall impact the virus is expected to have in our communities. There have been a lot of questions about what might happen to us. I wish I could give you that answer. Unfortunately, I cannot. However, the CDC's latest findings that transmission rates of COVID-19 may be low, at least in the first batch of U.S. cases, is somewhat encouraging. We actually didn't find a lot of spread in close contacts, and I do think that's good news, but it is a relatively small number of cases compared to, for example, the 80,000 cases that are around um, around the world. But the numbers keep changing with more than 90,000 coronavirus cases globally. The vast majority of the illnesses are still in China and U.S. health experts are closely watching the trends there. Most COVID-19 illness is mild. A report out of China suggests serious illness occurs in 16 percent of cases. More confirmed COVID-19 cases are expected in Washington state as testing ramps up. The CDC says by the end of the week, 75,000 testing kits will be shipped to local health departments in the U.S. That is separate from commercial testing kits now regulated by the FDA to go out to clinics and hospitals. That it'll be a tool in the toolbox of clinicians in clinics and in hospitals that they can use based on clinical suspicion. Local and state leaders are also reacting in unprecedented ways. King County government releasing more information today on their purchase of a motel and creation of modular units to quarantine those who will contract the dangerous virus. This is for isolation and recovery. So folks don't need to be in a hospital. We need those hospital beds for treatment.